welcome back to our Digifarm training videos. Today we are going to show you how to program a 372 for an IntelliSlope tile file situation using a Pro 700 display. We're going to start by going to Diagnostics and go to the RDI tab. As you can see, this receiver is already set up for RTK, so we will not be going through the RTK setup in this video. If you need assistance setting up RTK on a 372, visit our 372 quick reference video. Within the RDI screen, we're going to press the right arrow twice to configuration, down arrow once to GPS config, and then we're going to press the right arrow until we get to port A config. We're going to be programming port A for our NMEA output to the IntelliSlope. And then our port C is already configured for RTK. And we can see that just by going over here and viewing that. In our port A config, we're not going to do anything on this first screen quite yet. We're going to come down, confirm that port A out uh, is set and RTC is off. On the NMEA 1 screen, we want to confirm GGA and GSA are both capitalized. On the NMEA 2 screen, we want to confirm RMC and VTG are both capitalized. If all of those are correct, once we have our NMEA messages set on NEMA 1 and NEMA 2, we're going to press the down arrow twice to the NEMA out screen, and we want to confirm that NEMA out is at one second. If it is not, you can press the right arrow once, and then the up or down arrow. That will change the hundredth place value. Press the right arrow a second time, and the up or down arrow, and that will change the tens place value. Then we can press enter, and we're gonna press the up arrow until we get back to the main input output configuration screen. Now we can go back up to our input output screen. From here, we want to know what is the baud rate that the IntelliSlope system wants. That is 38,400. The top line on this screen is the input into port A. The bottom line is the output out of port A. So we will be changing the bottom line So we want to press the right arrow six times to get to the bottom TSIP. We want the bottom line to read 8N1 NMEA 38K4. Now if you need to change your baud rate, go ahead and press the right arrow and change that now. However, when you press enter, you will lose communication between the display and the receiver. That's because we're changing the port that the Pro 700 is currently communicating on. But the receiver will save these settings if you power the machine off quickly after losing communication. So we're gonna go ahead and press enter. And we lost communication there. I'm going to power the key off and we should be good to go ahead and install our 372 on the tile plow and confirm communication with the Ag Leader system. Access quick reference cards and other technical information for your precision system at digifarm.com support or call 319-531-7574.